today I'm going to show you how to create a master sheet table of contents in Excel that has hyperlinks to all the sheet tabs in your workbook. Let's get started. All right, to do this, I have an Excel workbook open that happens to have all of the different tabs that I want to create a table of contents for. So on this master sheet, I want to have a list of all the different tabs and have hyperlinks. So if I click on it, it'll jump to that tab in the workbook. And so to do this, I'm going to use Power Query to connect to this existing file that I have open. So one of the things that you're going to want to do, I've currently paused syncing on my OneDrive. I came down to OneDrive and clicked on Settings and um, paused syncing for two hours, I selected. And so I have this up here confirming that my uh, OneDrive is currently um, paused. Well, now I'm going to go back and pause thinking and say two hours. So I'm currently paused and I could just click out of that. And the other thing is that you want to make sure that you have your file saved and that you want the file sharing turned off. And this is just so that you won't have any issues connecting to the uh, this spreadsheet in Power Query. So let's go up to the data tab, click on get data, hover on from file and click on from Excel workbook. We're going to navigate to our existing file and select it and click import. I'm going to select the file folder here at the top and then click on transform data. This opens up the Power Query Editor and we have our list here of all of our tabs. I'm going to make sure that the kind of column over here is always just a sheet. If you happen to have tables or other things in your workbook, you're going to want to come over here and just filter on sheet and click OK. And then we can delete the other columns. I'm going to select my first column here and right click, click on remove other columns. And then I'm going to change the name up here. I'm going to call this header index and hit enter. And now I'm going to close and load to my existing workbook. And we can do that right up there in cell A1. So I'm going to click OK. And this drops the list of our sheet tabs here on our first tab in Excel, and it's in a table format. And so if we want to update the formatting of our table, we can come up here and select a different table format as desired. The next thing I want to do is create the hyperlinks to all of the different tabs in the workbook. So I'm going to come up here and say link to sheet tab. And this is where we're going to insert a hyperlink formula. So I'm going to copy this formula in the description below the video. And so I'm going to show you um, how this works. So I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to paste my formula. So I'm going to explain it first and then we'll turn it into a formula that will um, fill down our table. So this is going to be a hyperlink. So we're going to say equals, we're going to put our cursor there and say equals, and then we're going to say hyperlink. And the pound sign is what we can use to notify this formula that we want to use our existing workbook. So we don't have to type out the name of our existing workbook. And it's going to connect the name of the sheet. And then it's going to hyperlink that to the first cell in each one of these tab sheets. And then it's also going to have a name uh, listed that's the same as the sheet tab name. And so that's what this formula is saying. We're going to place our cursor at the end and hit enter. And so now we have a hyperlink that's labeled the same as the sheet name. And so if we were to click on a hyperlink, for example, on the bank transactions, it's going to take us to the bank transactions tab. And so we can always come back to our master sheet and click on any of these hyperlinks and it'll jump to that tab in our workbook. So let's go back to the beginning and let's say that based on uh, using this, if we have a lot of sheets and we want to have a link back to the master sheet table of contents on each of the tabs, uh, what we can do is go ahead and insert that on the first tab here. We can select the cell where we want to insert the link back to the master sheet or table of contents. And then we're going to come up to insert and we're going to click on link and we're going to say insert link. And then we're going to say place in this document. 
and then we're going to select the master sheet table of contents and up here we want the text to display you can type anything up here i'm just going to say toc for table of contents and i'm going to click ok and that just places a hyperlink here i can format and make this a different color so it's easier to see and and we can make it bold or a little bit larger and once we have this link if we were to click on it it will take us back to our main sheet here for our table of contents and so what we all we have to do then is copy so we can select that cell copy and go onto the each of our tabs and just paste that link so it'll link back to the same master sheet on each of our tabs here and so then if we click that we'll jump back to our master sheet you can continue to format this you can right click insert and we can title this table of contents we can change the font We can add a background fill, change the font color. We can merge and center and increase the font size. So you can format this however you want it to look. Now, the nice thing about setting this up in Power Query and, and then loading it as a table, if we come down here and add a new sheet, let's say we add a new sheet down here. After we've added our new sheet, we want to click on save to save our file. Then we can double click to go back into the query. We can click on refresh preview and notice that it added in the new sheet, but it also added a couple other items. So we can go back up to the filtered rows up here. We can go ahead and click on just the sheet and click OK and then that will remove those other tables and things from your list. And so then once that's all set, you can say close and load. And now we have our new sheet that shows up automatically in our table here. So likewise, if we delete a sheet, we can do the same thing. We can click on delete. Then we can save our file, go back to the master sheet, click on data, refresh, and it will remove that sheet. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends and give it a like. You can subscribe to my channel to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.